The Cumberland River stretches from the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in eastern Kentucky, nearly 700 miles downstream to its confluence with the Ohio River in Smithland, Kentucky. Along the way, the Cumberland dips well into Tennessee and is fed by countless tributaries, where it serves as the drainage conduit for a nearly 18,000 square mile area. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Nashville District, manages the Cumberland River and its tributaries, balancing the demands for water related to flood risk management, commercial navigation, production of hydropower, recreation, fish and wildlife, water supply, and water quality. Hi, I'm Anthony Aridino, Chief of the Water Management Section. The Nashville District manages the Cumberland River Reservoir System to balance often competing project purposes and provide valuable benefits for local communities, the region, and the nation. Of these benefits, none are more important than public safety and the protection of lives and property. And that's why when making operational decisions, additional emphasis is always placed on flood risk management. There are 10 projects within the Cumberland River Reservoir System, but not all of them were built for the same purposes. Nearly all of them, nine of the 10, produce hydropower. Six of the projects provide flood risk management, and only four of them contain locks and dams to support commercial navigation. When the basin becomes saturated with rainfall and water levels rise, Corps of Engineers water managers capture water at dams with large storage reservoirs, which are Wolf Creek Dam and Barkley Dam on the Cumberland River, Dale Hollow Dam on the Obie River, Center Hill Dam on the Caney Fork River, and J. Percy Priest Dam on the Stones River. Additionally, Martins Fork Dam in eastern Kentucky also provides local flood risk management benefits. The storage projects within the Cumberland system, like Dale Hollow Dam, store water during periods of heavy rainfall, and then release that water in a controlled manner once the threat of flooding downstream has gone away. However, it is important to understand the Corps has limits on how much and where it can store water. At the run of the river projects, which are Cordell Hole Dam, Old Hickory Dam and Cheatham Dam, water managers have to release or pass along rainfall because these projects don't have the capability of storing large amounts of water. Water that falls into the drainage areas of these projects has a greater chance of causing sharp rises in river stages downstream. When you think about flood risk management and the benefits our reservoirs provide, it's important to understand what we're actually controlling is the magnitude and duration of releases. So naturally, when it rains, the water will rush quickly over land and increase stages in the river downstream substantially for a relatively short period of time. Our release strategy reduces the magnitude of those releases and spreads the duration out over a longer period of time, thereby reducing the overall peak stage downstream. At Wolf Creek Dam, the spillway gates are 37 feet tall and do not typically have water up against them. This allows for an extraordinary ability to store large volumes of water in Lake Cumberland, the district's largest storage reservoir. Conversely, at Old Hickory Dam, a run-of-the-river project, there's only about a two-foot difference between a normal lake level and the top of the spillway gates. So when water levels begin to rise following heavy rainfall, there is no option but to open the spillway gates and pass water downstream. This highlights the importance of rainfall location on the Corps' ability to manage water throughout the basin. In the May 2010 flood, areas of Middle Tennessee received between 13 and 17 inches of rain. Much of the rain fell in areas downstream of the Corps' flood risk management projects. Due to the location of the rainfall, the larger storage capacities behind Wolf Creek, Dow Hollow, and Center Hill dams were unable to play a major role in reducing the flood crests on the Cumberland River, which crested at 51.86 feet in Nashville, the highest recorded level since construction of the Corps of Engineers flood control projects more than half a century ago. The Nashville district is also unique when it comes to its partnership with the Tennessee Valley Authority. During high water events on the Lower Ohio and Mississippi rivers, the Corps of Engineers partners with the Tennessee Valley Authority to collectively manage elevations and releases from Kentucky Dam on the Tennessee River, a TVA project, and Barkley Dam on the Cumberland River, a Nashville District project, to manage flood risk downstream. The Corps of Engineers is the largest operator of hydroelectric power plants in the United States. The Nashville District operates nine power plants in the Cumberland River Basin with a total of 28 generators, which supply enough electricity 
to power more than a quarter million homes with clean, renewable energy. We typically have two main ways to release water from our storage projects, either through spillway gates or through hydropower turbines. The spillway gates are operated primarily in the wet season following significant rainfall events, but the hydropower turbines are in use year-round. Our preference is to first release water through hydropower turbines because it allows for water to be released in a safe manner while also producing electricity in the process. While water quality is broad in scope, the primary focus areas for the Nashville district are temperature and dissolved oxygen, the two components that our operations could have the greatest potential to influence. Water quality conditions vary by reservoir throughout the year and may range from good to poor each year. In order to fulfill a commitment to be environmentally minded, the Corps of Engineers adjusts operations, when possible, to improve conditions throughout the Cumberland River Basin. These adjustments may include shifting the timing of hydropower generation, operating auto venting turbines, releasing water through sluice gates, orifice gates, and the case of J. Percy Priest Dam, operating a fixed cone valve. The benefits achieved from those water quality adjustments also directly correspond to improvements to aquatic fish and wildlife habitats. The Corps manages large tracts of land along the shoreline of reservoirs where animals and plant species flourish. Park rangers at reservoirs work to protect the environment and partner with state agencies to safeguard wildlife habitats. Another primary purpose for the projects along the main stem of the Cumberland River is commercial navigation. The four lock and dam projects provide approximately 380 miles of navigable channel from Salina, Tennessee, all the way to the Ohio River in Kentucky. These projects make it possible to transport barges filled with valuable goods and commodities like oil, sand, and coal to communities along the waterway while reducing the number of trucks on the region's highways. Perhaps the most visible aspect of the Corps' water management responsibilities is recreation. The Corps is the largest federal provider of outdoor recreation in the nation and manages 43 recreation areas and 25 campgrounds in the Cumberland River Basin. The Nashville District's projects receive millions of visits each year. Corps lakes and recreation areas are more than just a great place to have fun and enjoy nature. They play a critical role in the area's economic development and visitors support businesses, provide hundreds of jobs, and generate millions of dollars of revenue through private support services. So, as you can see, water management is a constant and ever-changing balancing act of multiple project purposes and demands for water. Day in, day out, 365 days a year, we're monitoring conditions and adjusting operations throughout the basin to best balance these competing project purposes in order to achieve the greatest benefit for the region and the nation. So the next time you turn on a light, enjoy a day out on the lake, or pour a glass of water, remember that those things are made possible by the plentiful water resources within the Cumberland River Basin and the Corps of Engineers' management of that resource. <laughs>